Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm going to do a quick video on how you can speed up or slow down an MP3, a WAV or a IIF audio file if you need to make adjustments to the tempo of the audio recording. Now remember, if I'm bringing you value, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment and drop me a super thanks if you think my content's worthwhile. So let's dive in. Now for many of you guys, you would have probably downloaded a pre-made instrumental from a Beats site or had delivery of an MP3 or a web file from another producer sent through to you via the internet. Or maybe you've grabbed some samples or stems from somewhere like Splice or some other audio source for that matter. But for all of those cases, there are times when the tempo of the audio that you've pulled into your project is not quite right. It's either slightly too fast or slightly too slow, and you wanna make some adjustments. Now this can be done really easily in Logic, and I'm gonna show you how. So let's assume I've bought this instrumental right here and I've pulled it into Logic. Now the instrumental itself is an MP3 and a quick way of telling that is this symbol just here. When you see this symbol on your audio regions, it's generally telling you that the file is an MP3. We've pulled our instrumental in and unfortunately we don't know what the tempo is. So the first thing we need to do is analyze the tempo of this instrumental. Now, as you know, Logic defaults to 120 BPM and this production is definitely not 120 BPM. That's not 120 BPM. We go to the audio effects plugin section and we come down to metering BPM counter. We're gonna ask Logic to analyze the tempo of this instrumental because it's got a beat, it's got a pulse, so Logic will be able to detect what the tempo is. Let's do that. Lovely. So Logic has detected that we are running at 92 BPM. So I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna change this to 92 BPM. Okay, that's great. But we're not quite there yet because we still need to make sure that things are on point because we've got this bit of silence at the very beginning of the file. And I've often seen this where an instrumental has been downloaded and you've got this bit of silence at the front which needs to be removed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and we're going to remove that bit of silence all the way up to that transient there. Let's pull this back in. Let's have a listen to this. So that's now on point. So we've identified the tempo as 92 BPM. We've trimmed and gotten rid of the silence at the very start of the file. And now we want to adjust the tempo. Come to the flex button, click on that. And by default, you'll find the algorithm is set to polyphonic auto. What I generally use is polyphonic, this one down here. I find that polyphonic gives the best results in everything I'm doing when it comes to flex. So I'm gonna switch that on, make sure this is this blue light is switched on. And now I can adjust the tempo, bump that up to like something a bit crazy, like 100 BPM. Let's have a listen to that. Not bad at all, is it? The quality is still pretty much as it was originally. How about if we drop this tempo down to 85? Let's hear what that sounds like. Back to 92. So the quality is pretty much the same as we had it before. Let's say I wanted to bring it up to say 95. I only wanted to move it say about three BPM up. Let's play that back. Lovely. Now what I wanna do is lock the tempo to this audio region. So I'm gonna right click and choose bounce in place, type 95 here. So now we've got this one down here, which is not flexed, 
Okay, we still we still got our orig original up here, and we've got the new one down here, which is locked at 95 BPM. You'll also notice that this new file is a WAV file, whereas this one right here is the MP3. You can see the difference in the symbols. So that's how you can quickly apply a tempo change to a pre-made instrumental that you've pulled into Logic. Okay, so here's another situation where you might need to adjust the tempo of an audio loop or a sample. Right here, we're, we're in Splice, and let me play back this guitar loop. Right, so I've already downloaded it um, to my library. So let's hop over there, and just right here in my library, as you can see. Okay, so let's pull this into Logic. All right and just line this up over here. Now the tempo of this loop is 82 BPM. Logic defaults at 120. We can quite easily just pull this down to 82. And if we play this back now, you can hear that it's exactly on point with the metronome. However, if I wanted to produce this song, not at 82 BPM, but maybe 86, if I was to increase this to 86, you'll see now this will be out of time with the metronome. Okay, so to fix that, what we need to do is go back to 82. So Logic is operating at the same tempo as the sample. Now we need to switch on Flex as we did before, change this to Polyphonic, and now this audio file is more elastic and we can adjust the tempo. So. Let's bring this up to 86. How about 76 if we went the other way? That's the power of Flex in Logic. Really, really cool. And the quality is very, very good as well. Now, like I did before, let's just hide the Flex for now. Like I did before, if I was to right click here and go bounce in place, we're going to lock this tempo in place and create a brand new audio file. I can rename the file if I like, and maybe type 76 there. Now this is our new file at 76 BPM, and this is the original file at 82 BPM. So that's another great way of adjusting the tempo of samples and audio files that you pull in from outside of Logic, from Splice or from a sample pack or something like that, and you can quickly and easily adjust the tempo. Okay, so finally, here's another very quick and easy way to adjust the tempo of an audio region. Now we're back to our guitar loop, which we're going to set to, let's say, 86 BPM. Great, okay, we've still got the flex on there. Okay, so it's still running a little bit faster than its original tempo, which is 82, but it sounds great. I'm gonna hop back over to my splice library and I'm gonna pull in a drum loop. So the drum loop I want to use this time is this one right here. That one's running at 75 BPM. Let's put it in and let's see what we get. This one here is running at 86, this one at 75. So let's have a listen to how they're syncing at the moment. A complete mess. One thing I do know is the top loop is an eight bar loop. Okay, from bar one to bar nine, and the bottom loop is a four bar loop. So ideally, if I can get this loop to end at bar five right there, then we'll be in business. So all I need to do with this is hold down the Alt or Option key on my computer keyboard, hover over this bottom, bottom right hand corner of the audio region, click and drag it in and snap it to bar five and you'll see the little display said the region was four bars in length. Now let's have a listen. Use the key command, command R to repeat.
absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's another great way of being able to quickly adjust the tempo of a piece of audio. So we're gonna leave it there for today, but I do hope I brought you value in this tutorial. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit me up with a super thanks as well if you feel that the content is worthwhile, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. I'm Deuce, I'm out, peace.